With rising wages and reports of labour shortages, researchers at the University of Plymouth have invented a robot which they believe could offer a low-cost lifeline to farmers. The machine not only helps with planting, it can also locate weeds and spray them with weed killer. The robot has been undergoing trials at an essential oils farm near Callington in Cornwall. Anna Vahl has been to take a look. Build as the future, this small, relatively lightweight robot can get to places a tractor can't. It's electric, can carry up to a ton of material, and you can even use your phone to plot its route and drive it around. I'm up in space the main goal of the project was to really help tackle labour shortage from picking, from analysing, seeing soil degradation. And our main goal with this was to uh, take a new approach. Rather than bringing out large, heavy machinery or equipment that might damage the soil or the microbes even more, we wanted to have a lightweight platform. Jake and his team are the brains behind this technology. They've effectively built a frame out of scaffolding poles, which can be increased or decreased in size, depending on what the farmer wants it to do. The idea is to use different attachments to do different jobs, and some of them blow my mind. This is absolutely incredible. You see the camera there, that will locate the weed. You have to think of this as a computer. And then the nozzles will then spray the weed killer onto that weed. We have a rotational joint. Uh, there we have a revolute joint there for the wrist and then at the top there's another revolute joint just to spin the whole arm forwards and back and that basically gives us access to the entire space under the RTU. This system doesn't just operate at ground level, it starts in the air. A six camera drone is used to scan the site, gathering information on the health of the crop below. This is then fed to the robotic platform to inspect and to treat. A technology wow, but will it take off? Essential oils farmer Ian Sexton thinks it will. The situation within agriculture is such that most farmers have to have a second job just to pay their own way. And so paying for someone else to come and do a job for them is almost out of the question. It's all well and good saying we've got this magical robot that can solve all of your problems and can automate your entire farm. But if it costs a fortune, no one's going to be able to use it. So instead, we've tried to make everything as affordable and manufactured and all built locally here in Cornwall. This isn't the first robot to be made in the region. Another two are already harvesting raspberries in Portugal, the first in the world to do so. Anna Val, BBC Spotlight. I've got a few weeds to sort out too. Now, how do you fancy a week-long journey around Britain by electric vehicle? Well, 50 teams have travelled in cars and vans from John O'Groats in Scotland to Land's End in Cornwall. The journey was designed to test the charging infrastructure to see if it could cope. Our transport